Hey guys, uh, I'm really happy to announce that plugin I uh, introduced a couple weeks ago is finally in the marketplace and you can find a download link in the movie description. Uh, so plugin is um, extending um, functionality of U widgets and uh, providing custom, um, custom categories for you with different uh, look of those categories with different colors with different uh, widgets where all the default parameters and styles can be defined in the mm, class defaults of those widgets and can be used like normal uh, user widgets in the end and also many many custom widgets which are ready to use created by me or just exposed from Unreal Engine it all depends and those uh, are having this green uh, nice color so hopefully you will like the plugin hopefully you will find this useful and I think it's not so uh, expensive currently it's $20 in, in, the, in the marketplace and uh, please also check the thread uh, about the submission um, and if you have any suggestion, further updates, far, further improvements, which can be added, uh, yeah, you can just write in the in the in the thread. So yeah, once again, please check how this plugin works. And now I will just uh, jump into into the uh, plugin itself. So please enjoy. Please check the plugin and thank you. So when you first time open the plugin, you will notice this demo scene where you have uh, presented every widget in form of some kind of um, panel where you just get closer and you will get a widget with some uh, functionalities and that's uh, how it is presented and you may notice that um, this demo scene is divided into two rooms, two areas one is advanced widgets which provides uh, some basic widgets and extensions to Unreal Engine 4, like U widgets. And the second one is presenting uh, custom default examples uh, and how to use those templates. So for example, here we have gray template, here we have default custom template, and here we have wood template, which can be also used. And all of those, wi those widgets are just simple U widgets. And you can look uh, here, for example, that on the left side I have green. Those are all the widgets I um, I created or just I extended uh, in some specific cases. And all of those uh, gold one or just yellow one are default one. And what is the difference between those? Um, these are just new elements and those are elements which style is defined in the base class. So um, instead of creating user widgets and creating this kind of wrapper which defines only style of the widget, you can just simply create your own category, put the new, for example, big text blue, and you will see that the, this text is blue and everything here is accessible only from the, uh, from the base class. So you can just here change the color from blue to something. So that's basically moving from and this look from from the widget itself to the base class and also providing those um, categories and i think uh, that's that's really simple to use and really making this it's really really simple to use uh, having everything in just base class uh, also saving some uh, memory performance uh, space on the drive because uh, as, as you may know, uh, user widgets are quite expensive, uh, taking a lot of space. They are just scripts uh, which some logic like in blueprints. Uh, also, they need to create some uh, dispatchers for events. But here, for example, like you, you can see, um, you have this green button and you have everything like here uh, already exposed. So you have all the events on the left side, on clicked, on pressed, on released, and everything is just like default. So there is one more thing I would like to share with you, uh, guys. Uh, if you go to the plugins, you can find some, uh, some plugins already installed. For example, two of my other plugins. Uh, but, uh, what we are talking about is templates UMG. Uh, this is the plugin, uh, which, uh, which is used. Okay, it's enabled, that's fine. 
uh, and there is one setup for, for the plugin. So if you go to the project settings, here on the left side uh, in the editor tab, you can find templates UMG settings and there is one boolean which uh, you can change in case you don't want to use style being defined in class defaults. If you want like it was before that everything is exposed to widgets, you can still do it just and checking this simple flag and that's basically it. You of course need to restart the engine but but that's that's basically it. Everything is um, exposed here and you can just configure this like you want. Uh, so that's everything for this. Hopefully you enjoy it and uh, you like the idea of uh, U-Widgets. And uh, yeah, just give it a try and uh, tell me what do you think about this plugin. Thank you once again and uh, see you next time.